A very good afternoon to all of you again. Uh, so, as discussed, I'm going to be beginning the OET uh, videos sharing information and insights into the exam preparation. And today I'm going to be beginning with the speaking section. Uh, the OET speaking section consists of two role plays. Uh, the preparation time is three minutes and the role play lasts for a total of five minutes. Now today I'm going to give you a little bit of display of how uh, and uh, how an OET role play should be conducted in order to get a B or higher score. So today's topic is, uh, is meningitis. So as you can see on the screen, I've put in a picture, meningitis, you'll be given, uh, there'll be two sections. One is the setting will be the hospital ward. Uh, one part will be of the patient and the other will be of the nurse. So the patient part will be, of course, done by the examiner or the person who's going to be conducting the role play. And uh, you'll be given three minutes to go through it. So let's read it. <clears throat> so the setting is a hospital ward. The patient uh, par part, it says, you are a 24-year-old person recovering from bacterial meningitis. You want to lie straight without a pillow and won't discharge as soon as possible. Tasks. Task number one, explain your concerns. Task number two, ask for discharge because you are not comfortable with the hospital environment. Task number three, refuse for any treatment modulation. Task number four, agree with the advice of the nurse. Setting in the hospital ward. Your patient is a 21-year-old person with a diagnosis of bacterial meningitis. He is not completely recovered. The doctor is advised for elevated head and 30 degrees, but patient is refusing it and asking for discharge. He is giving lame excuses to avoid his stay in hospital. Task number one of the nurse, which is of you, reassure the patient, explain the reasons for head and elevation, try to solve his excuse in avoiding hospital stay and convince him to be hospitalized till he completely recovers. So you'll be given a total of three minutes. I'm going to be playing the board parts. So I'll begin by being the, the nurse. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Ashish. I'm the registered nurse for today. I'll be looking into your well-being. How are you doing today? Well, uh, I'm not really great. I I have been suffering from bacterial meningitis. I just want to lie down straight uh, without a pillow and I want to be discharged as soon as possible. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not used to be being elevated. Well, sir, I, I completely understand your concern that um, you're not very used to uh, this particular position. However, at this point in time, it, it's extremely important that uh, this particular condition is being followed uh, by putting you in this position you will be uh, getting to a speedy recovery yes uh, I, I understand that but you know um, I'm, I don't like the hospital atmosphere either um, I, I, I don't like uh, to stay in a hospital and um, neither do I like this position we can understand that it might be difficult for you to understand to uh, be in this particular position but uh, please note that uh, there are uh, specific reasons why we are asking you to be in this particular position uh, now if we do not keep you in elevated position uh, your condition is such that th there will be a lot of stress on, on the blood flow which will come directly to the brain this can result in deterioration of your health condition uh, this is why we have advised you this particular position so that you're able to recover faster. Secondly, if you are going to go and if you will be staying at home, you will not be getting the kind of attention that you actually require. We at this hospital are a trained team of trained professionals of nurses, doctors. Anything, any requirement that you have or any emergency if you have, we are there for you. Now, at home, you might not be getting that kind of atmosphere. Neither will you get those the, the equipment which is required for this particular 
situation. If we do not follow this right now, the kind of healing that we have been doing will be going in, in, in a negative way. It will, will be going back to square one. Therefore, it is extremely compulsory and important that you are in this position and at, are staying at the hospital currently. Yes, but uh, I'm not really comfortable, you know. It, is there any way that I can, I can just refuse this treatment uh, if, if I don't want it? Well, of course, we cannot be forcing you to uh, be in this position. However, please understand, we as a team are making, a situ making an arrangement for you so that you recover faster. The faster you recover, the earlier you'll be able to go home. If we discontinue this, this treatment, you, your condition might deteriorate and that will not be beneficial for any one of us. Therefore, it's my humble request that you kindly continue in this position so that you heal faster and you're able to go back home. Meanwhile, if you're not liking the hospital atmosphere, feel free to tell us any of your needs which we can which can be get fulfilled by us if you're getting go bored if you need any magazines or newspapers if you want to see your friends or if you want some food from outside or if you want to meet your parents feel free to let us know we are here for you and anything possible which is in our capacity we will definitely arrange it for you sir i hope you understand uh, that we are making all the efforts for your benefit. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. So, uh, I think, I think I'll, I'll stick to that. Um, let me see, let me see how you can heal it. I'll continue in this position. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Is there anything else that we can help you with? Uh, we are at just, uh, you know, we are just very close around you. If you need anything, feel free to let us know at any point in time. We are here for you. Our whole team is dedicated for your well-being. Uh, is there anything else that we can help you with? No, 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 that's about it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. You have a great day. Take care. Bye. So, guys, this was the kind of role play that you might be facing in your speaking exam, the OET. I, I hope you have you are noting the kind of modulation, sentence construction, empathetic words that I have been using. Please make a note of these words. I'm sure you can increase your vocabulary as well using this role play and it will definitely benefit you. Take care. Till next time. See you.